unfortunately, the methadone industry is so large. I've heard it, but I don't know the, the details about it. It's not a million dollar industry, it's a billion dollar industry. People use it to get off heroin, I think. It's a substitute for heroin. From what I understand, I, I did some research about methadone. It's more harmful than heroin. It's a medical substitute for heroin. Methadone is a drug-like treatment for people that have been addicted to drugs. Methadone is a synthetic uh, use of heroin, I guess, people use to get off heroin. It's referenced in one of Woody Allen's great movies, Annie Hall. In New York, it's a business. Um, I guess it depends on the effects of methanol. I don't know anything about that. If it works for people, it's great. And it somehow substitutes what that drug was doing, at least this is what I think, and help that person be able to get off of the bad drug, and then it's easier to wean them off of the, the methadone. I know it's a substitute drug. I don't know how addictive that is, or but it, it does help for addiction, from my understanding, anyway. To the best of my knowledge, it's to help treat people that are, are addicted to another substance. It's helped, it's helped them to get them off that onto something that I believe is less addictive. Does that kill you too? If they take their prescribed dosage, they're still looking for something else. It's all about like a cost-benefit analysis. <laughs> if, if, it's worth, if it's better than the heroin. If the second drug is helpful, costs a lot less, and help people to go back into the community, I'm for it. I know people who take it, but uh, I know any, anybody who ever uh, recovered, you know, they always seem to be going back, you know. I think it would be better if they could come some other type of way to substitute heroin instead of with methadone. I think you're just, you know, training one problem for another. That's my opinion about it. Several years back, and I had one of my employees, he was a heroin addict, and I put him through rehab, and he wound up on methadone. The guidance counselors, whatever, don't want them off. Oh, you can't handle it. That's what they would literally tell him. You can't handle it. You can't come down slowly. How does that happen? I even had one guy that I used to send out on errands. His, his, his uh, bone structure became so weak, and that's what killed him. And he was another methadone addict. You know, the medical profession, they treat it as disease. Society itself, depending on where you are, uh, there's so many stigmas involved. It's really, you know, how informed you are, how open your mind is.